Aries, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, my loves. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts, pick a node. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too, okay? Aries, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, okay? If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aries, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you. Yes, for your support of the channel, my love. I appreciate you. All right, let's talk about your energy. A couple of things going on. Number one, challenge. OMG. I don't know if someone challenged you or you actually kind of just set forth a challenge for yourself, but you are in beast mode with this challenge. You are so determined, so passionate, so fiery. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, which is what y'all do. I'm not mad at you. Get it, okay? The thing about it is, on the other side of this fire is water. And there's a lot of emotions here. There's conflict emotions. That's what it feels like. It doesn't really feel like kind of loss of, of love, like a, maybe a recent breakup or... Think something like that. It's more as like, um, I don't know, like um, maybe you're remembering an old love and it's playing with you or uh, your ego is playing with you, something like that. It's, it's, it's a conflict of emotions. Uh, this is actually getting ready to shift because your fire is so high, it's kind of going to burn that water out. But just to let you know, that's kind of how your energy came in, okay? Ooh, let's see what's going on. We're pulling from Psychic Tarot Oracle, Aries. Please and thank you, Aries. Please and thank you, Aries. There it is. And I have the light in reverse. I have the sun in reverse magician coming in yeah um guys i honestly i think you've been challenged i think you're doing something that's uncharted territory for you but just because it's a challenge that don't mean you're giving up that don't mean you're not going to go forth i think you're just operating in uncharted territory right now um also with this emotion thing there is something that is messing with your emotion it's pulling you down um you have moments of melancholy you know of sadness um, I, it feels old to me though. It even smells old, you know? Um, so I don't know again, if it's like an old love, old feeling, maybe an old, older family member, whatever the case is, something has your emotions a little bit at unrest. Okay. Magician energy coming in with awareness and truth with that Ace of Swords, triumphant success. So it looks like, you know, either you're manifesting or you have everything that you need for divine clarity at this point. What you don't know, what you think you don't know, you actually do. What you think you don't have, you actually do. You know, what you, if you're questioning, I know you're not questioning, you can't do something because that's, can't, is not in your vocabulary. But, um, you have everything that it takes, you know, you have it. Harmony coming in, lover's energy, Gemini energy. Um, this is your energy here with awareness, uh, Aries Aquarian. But, you know, either we're talking about love for you with a divine counter, or we're talking about a divine path, okay? Which is what this represents, one or the other. Either way, you're determined with positive movement forward. You want to get things, you're moving fast. Whatever you're doing, you're moving so damn fast. Like, I can't talk fast enough in your energy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I love it. Libra energy right behind it with balance and justice and truth. And yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, there is... There is an issue, and this is fear of the unknown as far as a response. 
almost as if you're trying to present choices to somebody or maybe you're going to have a business proposal with some options or whatever. So you might have a little bit of anxiety of what they'll choose, okay? But it looks like you're going to win. You know, rejoice and celebrate is right behind it. So it works out in your favor. Aries, don't even worry about that. But right now, let's just talk about this fire, baby. Yes, because it is burning hot. Um, I want to use Nefertiti for you today. We're using Nefertiti for your spread. All right, let's get popping. Center, please, for Aries. Hello. And I have the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Queen of Cups at the bottom. It, it, you, some kind of, you know, the hangman is a different perspective, okay? The thing about it is, um, emotionally, you're taking a different look at something, either someone you love or uh, some form of emotional attachment, okay? I'm not going to lie. Eesh, the sun is here again. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, when it comes to love with you, I think that you're really looking at something like with lover's eyes, and it kind of got you a little feeling, a little mushy, a little woo-woo-woo, you know? Um, other than that, some of you, this emotion is old. And I think you have to either look, like you have to look a distance for love, if that makes sense. Like you have to look across a distance. Yeah. What's uh, crowning the energy for Aries? What's hanging over their head right now? Thank you. And I have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, those of you that have to look a distance for love, um, you may feel like isolated, separated. You, you feel the, you feel the distance between you. Okay. Three of cups at the bottom. All right. Um, you make the best of the situation, but you still feel it. Um, others of you with this passion in business, with this passion, this drive and everything in business, um, what's hanging over your head is you can't afford to fail. That's kind of how this feels. I cannot afford to fail. So even if I have to utilize other resources to incorporate into making this thing happen, it has to happen. What's working against Aries right now? What's what's in the way? What's working against the four swords in reverse? Yeah, do not drop the ball, all right? All right don't overthink it. If you're going to do it, do it. Don't let your emotions kind of... Uh, interfere with your actions. This is not a time to, I need you to really be ram this thing. Okay. I need you to ram this thing. Uh, past energy, please for Aries. And here's the moon again, Piscean energy, also scorpion. Um, you, the moon hides things. It brushed things under the rug. You know, maybe, uh, you tried to, uh, uh forget about something and it keeps reappearing, you know, um, I have to say that the moon is also spiritually cleansing energy. So we just really had a powerful moon pass. Maybe it ignited energies in you. That's kind of brought back some old memories. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Again, let's shift this to business. In the past, you may have been afraid to uh, get this thing started, but you know, you had a divine guidance and blessing um, and means to do so, even though you may not have had the support, okay? you Or it may spark some jealousy in your friends and family. Overall, you're pursuing a life of comfort and you're trying to get this life going. So it's kind of like maybe the challenge is uh, for you to kind of, you know, do what you do and prove these people wrong. Where is this going? Future energy, please, for Aries. Future energy, please, for Aries. I have the Eight of Swords. I have the High Priestess. Pisces is all over you, Aries. God darn. You may have Pisces in your chart, but damn. The Moon, the Hangman, and High Priestess is all Pisces. Oh, I didn't even see you. What an Ace of Cups. <laughs> Yeah, Aries, let me tell you, if you connected with a Pisces, you got them stuck. And I mean, they are stuck. They can't do nothing but think about you. Woo, shama lama ding dong. Absolutely. 
Um, <laughs> other than that, Aries that have nothing to do with Pisces. Again, it's still Piscean energy. Uh, with this Ace of Cups, that's an energy of divine love, rejuvenation, restoration, washing, replenishing. Pick one, it don't matter to me. It's beautiful, okay? Uh, this a cup comes in with an Eight of Swords. Uh, that means that mentally, you know, something might feel really good and divine and meant to be, but in your head, you're saying no. You know, your heart is saying one thing, your head is saying no. Now, let's check in with the intuition because see, the high priestess uh, is highly intuitive energy and she knows. And with this Ace of Pentacles coming in, first of all, let me just say this. Failure is not even on the mother loving table in any area of this reading. None whatsoever. None. No failure. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just put it out there. It's not even on this table. So intuitively, you know you're blessed. You know you're divinely covered. You know you're secure. You know what you bring, you know? But I'm telling you, you have some haters with this Five of Swords. And I, I think it's somebody close to you with this Two of Cups, all right? Um, I think that you're seeking like a life of comfort, a life of fulfillment, a life of nothing but love. Empress, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. It might be a Libra or Taurus that has your interests, but you have Pisces interests. You know, the thing about it is with the six of pentacles, you know, this person might be from your past, you know, a past life connection or something like that. But God has given you what you need when you need it. If you want to call judgment on the situation, but you're going to have to sit in and speak your truth with the queen of swords. Okay. Now, um, uh, we have forward moving motion coming in with the six of cups with past life assistance. So if you called on your angels and ancestors to help you, they're definitely there to do that. What they do require and what is going to be required for this to actually come to fruition is, uh, for you to walk away from blood, sweat, years, and tears, but that has your head messed up and your emotions are in check, but you're saying that I'm, you know, I, I don't want to kind of just take this complete leap of faith on love. So you hold back and continue working on the bag. And now the bag is good. So now you still have to go back and deal with what you never wanted to face. Strengthen the two of swords. All right. It looks like you decide to go forward and try to elevate this thing called life with that hair font. And for some of you, it's going from honestly being uh, like a, um, we call it an employee to a business owner, you know, uh, in the same field though. That's what it feels like. So I, I don't know if you're starting your own practice or you're, you're own, like the company that you're in, you're starting a company in the, how can I say that? If you're a nail technician for someone else, you're getting ready to have your own shop, that kind of thing. That's how this feels, okay? Um, so maybe that's why you have the hate because you're getting ready to become to competition, you know? Yeah, you're trying your best to stay out the way. You're trying your best to stay out the way. But money is chasing you and success is chasing you, power is chasing you, but it seems like love, you have Pisces chasing you, but your heart is someplace else, you know? Now, if it's not a Pisces, if it's somebody that's in Piscean energy and you're trying to figure out if it's that person, I'm gonna tell you this, this person started off with you very secretive, and then they took another look at you and they, it's like you swept them off their feet. So now they feel stuck because they're saying that this is really my person. We belong together. All right. I don't know if you feel the same though, Aries. I have to say that because it looks like your heart is someplace else. Isn't that always how it goes? You darned if you do, you darned if you don't. You know what I mean? All right, babes, I hope this helps. If any event you say green eyes, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know me. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy with you though. Please, if it's not for you, leave it here for another Aries. All right, everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect and I'll talk to you next time.